So we can't walk in there, but we can still stand right here. And so we'll just kind of slip around here. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Fish on, baby. Guys, what is going on? We're fueling up the camper van right now. I'm um, heading to Southern Washington to do some steelhead fishing with you guys. We're also gonna try and fish for trout. Whatever we can catch down there, we brought cooking gear along, so we're gonna do catch and cooks in the van. Super excited, so we just gotta get some gas. I'm gonna head in there and get some coffee too because I haven't had any coffee yet today. Check this out, I've got a, I've got a Nutella sandwich on my dash. Check out this Nutella sandwich right there. Uh, I took a couple bites out of it already, but it, it's kind of a waste to eat a, a Nutella sandwich without coffee. I don't know, do you guys know what I mean? Like, it just goes down so well together. Guys, we're back in the van, we got our coffee, and of course I spilled some. Do you guys like that masterpiece that I made in there? Mmm. Mmm. Nutella's not that big of a deal in the US, and it's, I didn't grow up with it, it was kind of something as kids we never got. But I lived in Germany, and over there it's a big deal. People love Nutella. They show like, the ads were always that the whole like national German soccer team, that they eat Nutella sandwiches to keep them strong for soccer. Kind of doubt now that that was actually true. Wow. All right, guys, I can see the river. That was pretty cool. Apparently, apparently I can camp here. Otherwise, we just have to like pull up on the side of the road somewhere and hope that people just think this is a a contractor van. Just stealth camp. Oh, I see other people camping too. So I guess we're okay. People have like RVs and stuff. Maybe we can like make camper friends here. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna clean up in the van here a little bit and we're gonna meet up with my uh, friend Carson from Washington Fish and Wildlife. Uh, and we're gonna like fish together. So I just wanna make sure the van is like decently presentable. Um, I don't want, that That sounded really weird. I didn't mean that to be weird. I just, I don't know. I want it to like look nice for you guys, for you guys. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, gotta charge my phone. It's almost dead. I still have like Christmas tree piece, like pine needles all over my bed. No. That's one thing I really should have would be like a nice little clothing hanger right like here. This will do for now. I've got a little nail here. I don't even have a hammer with me, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna bend that nail up just a little. Actually, it's probably not even necessary, but that there just made a Great little coat hook. There we go, boom. That's how it has to go sometimes when we're out uh, just primitive van camping. That that whole piece here is gonna be covered by trim, by the way. The, the van still isn't done. Um, let me show you real quick what it looks like with all the lights on. Uh, it's nice, I mean, I've got the, the 12 volt canned lights up there. Uh, plenty bright. It's very comfortable in here, warm. It's fully insulated. I've got insulation all over uh, behind this beautiful uh, pine ceiling. I've got insulation behind these walls right here. Uh, then the whole uh, battery bank that I have. Uh, tell you what, I'll show you guys that later, but it's uh, essentially right behind the seat here. 
um, but I've got to pull the seat forward and then you can see everything's wired up against this wall. It's actually quite the nice system that I put in. Uh, did everything myself, you know, did a lot of research on YouTube. So hopefully we get lucky, get some fish, uh, some dinner for tonight. I'd love to cook it with you guys in the van. So let's see what happens. Oh, I think he's he's coming right now. So let's say out of Carson. We're gearing up right now for fishing. Um, I am, well, soaked. Luckily I'm wearing rain gear. He hooked me up with some awesome, uh, like, boots or like waders that go into the boots I've, I've never worn anything like that so uh yeah carson's the man once again if you guys uh haven't seen him before he was in a video of mine where we were down fishing Puyallup. the Puyallup river it's the only river that i'd like mention the name of but um we did a catch and cook on the river so it was awesome he works for fish and wildlife so he knows a lot of stuff love learning from him and uh, today we're, yeah, we're gonna fish for kind of everything. Trout, steelhead, maybe late, winter salmon. Yeah, late coho, but early winter runs. Cool. Maybe cool. a late summer run steelhead too. This random dude showed up. I hope he's not like here listening from the woods, but- I don't but see him. You don't, don't see him? Where he went. This guy walks up and I like thought he knew Carson, but he was just like a random dude. He just walked up to us, no car or anything. He just walked hundreds of yards. We're way out here. There's no other cars. He's walked all the way up to us, isn't even fishing, and just seemed tweaky. He was asking he us for cigarettes his, and shit. Yeah, and he told us his life story too, kind of. Told us his life story, how his girlfriend screwed him over and all kinds of and financial really problems. And, and that sucks. I mean, I'm not like told, I mean, obviously that very well could be just a guy going through some hard times, but man, you gotta watch out sometimes because there can be tweakers out here who are gonna break into your shit while you're out fishing. So always keep an eye on that kind of stuff. Yeah. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Knock on wood. Yeah. If it does happen, at least this video is monetized. So like some of the ad revenue will pay for a new van window. <laughs> or a new GMC. Uh... That's true, or a new GMC van window. <laughs> so make sure to smash the like button for uh, Carson in case, his, <laughs> in case his GMC window gets smashed. That way, you know, for the algorithm, the video will make a little more money. Window gets smashed because nobody smashed the like button. <laughs> Speaking of sea lions. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. I need to get one of those too. I got a couple more. Dude, this is like freaking cool, man. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Yeah, this is this is awesome looking, super eerie. It's getting a little dark. It's already kind of late, guys. Well, actually, it's just in the afternoon, but it's winter time, so it gets dark at four. Um, then we don't want to touch any of that barbed wire here everywhere, keeping us out. Oh wow, this is muddy. Yeah. Wow. But I see. Look at that clear water right there. Oh yeah, you look want at first that. First cast in that. Okay, so. Interesting. So, and the thing is, up until that line there, you can't fish. Exactly. So you can't fish into that, but you can fish mm -hmm. up to that. Uh -huh. Man, that's freaking weird. Yeah, told you. <laughs> There's that. That's the only fishable water is right there right now. So here's the deal, guys. This is pretty. It's been raining a lot, so um, the water's super murky. Really hard to catch fish uh, in murky water because they can't see your bait. But due to this unique situation where there is some clear water over there and you can fish in it, we might get lucky. Um, we're gonna start fishing here, but uh, just make sure that you know your rules wherever you're at. In this case, we are good to fish this. Uh, if you do recognize where this is, keep it a secret. Uh, kind of yeah. an insider spot. <laughs> so guys, these are eggs from like 2018 still. <laughs> There's Chinook eggs that I cured up and had frozen for a long time. I've fished one-year-old eggs successfully, but never one-and-a-half-year-old eggs. My guess is it'll be okay. We're going to use just a regular slip float um, set for right now about three feet deep or something. Got uh, down here just a little inline weight. These are just some extra uh, floating beads for a little bit extra buoyancy. A um, little bit of split shot down here about a foot off of the uh, hook uh, to bring that presentation down a bit. Then down here I've got just a, a pink soft bead with some white speckles on it and a hook down here. Usually I tie a bait loop uh, to them, but for some reason 
uh, I tried tying a bait loop twice and I, I don't know what I was doing wrong, but it didn't like work out. So, okay, so apparently we can actually stand like right here, but there is a rope there that says no trespassing. So we can't walk in there, but we can still stand right here. Um, and so we'll just kind of slip around here. We're gonna be super stealthy now because we don't want to uh, spook any of these fish. Let's just make a little, little cast right into a snag on the other side there. First cast here, guys. Okay, it definitely seems like I'm dragging on the bottom right now. Yeah, it's a little, the flow there's a little. Yeah, I can imagine there's probably some grass and some stuff. Now we're floating good. Ooh. That was totally a fish, dude. Was it? I don't know, the way it went down, that like that totally seemed like a fish. Uh, let's shorten this up just a little bit. Though. Yeah, we're gonna shorten this. All right, we're gonna try this again. This time I'm gonna maybe let him munch on it just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, let that bobber go down a little more if it is a fish. All right, we're fishing a little more shallow now. I'm in a crouched position. I don't think I need to be, but for some reason I, I am. I'm, I feel like I'm hunting. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a fish. Bobber down. What that's the heck have we got? That's a little cutthroat. Cut so if you want to bonk it, you can. Oh, oh, he got away. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. He got away. Uh, so we just had a little cutthroat on the line there. They would be legal to retain. So this river here, Carson, what are, uh, I think I know the rules, but what are the rules on this one? Five, five fish. Rainbow, five cutthroat or rainbow trout, three steelhead. Three steelhead. Oh, hatchery. And then hatchery coho. And hatchery coho. So size limit wise, I don't know if I want to like tell too much about the rules because otherwise people like know exactly where we're at. Um, either way, we are allowed to keep a uh, quite small fisher. We don't want to keep like babies or anything, but we will keep uh, probably a couple of fish just so we got something to eat tonight. Yeah. So Carson's got uh, a jig on there now tipped with eggs. So you're saying steelhead would not go here. This is where the trout want to go and steelhead would continue, right? No, the hatchery steelhead would want to come here too. Oh, okay, so hatchery steelhead would be coming here. Wow, what a unique fishing hole. Oh, something's going for it. Oh, dang. So it's holding on to it, but I still uh, screwed that one up. What was that? Premature hook set. Premature hook set. I did not get those fish to bite it. And now here we are. Dude, that's because they're my secret egg cure mix that yeah. I gave away to everyone in my Bobber and Eggs 101 video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's like, I don't know. These eggs work really well, it seems. For every type of salmon and trout. And All right, here we go. Very next cast since... Uh, Bobber down on the last one. Oh, Carson's got, oh, oh, dang. Carson just had a little cutty on there and it was rolling and yeah, came off. The bobber didn't even go down. Did you just see it sitting there? It just kind of sat there, huh? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, something's hitting ours. Oh, oh bobber down. Bobber Killing me, man. <laughs> Killing me. What am I doing wrong? This is a steelhead setup. This is not a cutthroat trout setup. <laughs> yeah, it probably doesn't help that my eggs are sitting at the bottom of the hook, too. Yeah. Same with me. <laughs> we were not ready for discovering. Little cutthroats everywhere. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that. Looking like it's doing something weird. Oh, 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 they're going for it. Oh, 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 they're still on it. They're still on it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's a fish on. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I wish we had a net with us. Woo. 
Oh, came off. And uh, beautiful. Oh, hatchery. Little hatchery. Cuddy. Cuddy. Look at that. He's a skinny little guy, huh? Yeah. Beautiful fish. Yeah, nice guy. <laughs> so are they sea run then? Yeah, they're sea run. Wow. That's a cool looking fish. Yeah. You want to keep them at all? Or? Do you want to catch and cook them? Heck yeah, let's do a catch and cook, man. Right. Let's definitely let's keep one. It. It's starting to get dark. Let's try to get one more. Yeah. Fry up. That looks pretty good. Guys, so this is a hatchery fish. Where these fish were bred for fishermen to catch. So, uh, you know, it's totally cool to keep him here. Uh, he's legal size and everything. So we're going to cook him up. Awesome. Good job, man. Now I just got to freaking catch one. Or land one, rather. Well, so I guess I should have told you to come down for a cutthroat fishing video. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's gonna be cutthroat, 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 steelhead. Oh, you're gonna, what's, well, it'll be funny is that steelhead is gonna move the bobber just a little bit and you're gonna set the hook and it's just gonna go out of the water like a rocket ship. And you're Jeez, like, oh, man. Carson! Carson, help you hold the pole. Oh, 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 oh. Oh man, unbelievable. Oh, oh, fish on. <laughs> Ooh, interesting color on that one. A darker. Yeah, darker cut through it. That's a nicer looking fish, man. Yeah. That's Another. a really good looking fish. Another one for the uh, nice little hatchery. Pan. Yeah. Another one for the frying pan. Didn't want it on that one at all. They're getting picky. Oh, oh, there. oh, oh. There we go. Fish on, baby. Right. <laughs> Out of the water this time. <laughs> all right, here, let's just make sure it's a hatchery fish. Oh, yeah. And it absolutely is. Look at that hook, though. Oh, yeah, right on the top of the... Uh, Barely in the nose. Oh. Top in the nose there. <laughs> All right, awesome. I've redeemed myself. <laughs> nice, oh wow, spots all the way up onto the, the, the face there and everything. That's freaking cool looking. Well, my secret spot proved itself. Oh dude, absolutely, man. Dude, thank you so much. This is cool. Ah, look at that. That's a that's a bounty right there. Man, that one in the middle you got is a fat one. Just a picture like. <laughs> or like me just kind of like from the other side. <laughs> With the barbed wire. Fisherman gets imprisoned for, for fishing. Because nobody smashed the like button. Because <laughs> no one smashed the like button. <laughs> I got imprisoned because you guys didn't smash the like button. That's a good video title. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, it's fine. Let's go. All right, guys, we are now in Carson's driveway. Super nice of him. He let me uh, camp uh, here versus down at the river where there was, yeah, that random weird guy who showed up at one point. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, really nice. That way I don't get, like, murdered tonight. Uh, we have behind you here, uh, I'll let you check it out, in the van, the whole cooking setup, um, <laughs> fishing pole still behind there and everything, but let's go ahead and just take a look at one of these fish. We're only going to cook one here, then we're going to cook the other two inside with his roommates. And then after uh, eating all the fish, I'll come back in the van and crash here before another good day of fishing tomorrow. But uh, check out this trout. I just wanted to like point out, doesn't it look anorexic to you guys? We're going to cook it up with, uh, I've got this big elephant uh, garlic here. So we're going to not use the whole thing, but just to use a little bit for seasoning. Um, then I've got some infused... Uh, Meyer lemon olive oil. That should be really good. Actually, this stuff is really good. I've yeah. tried a little bit of it. Uh, of course, my Danish sea salt here that I like using for all of my catch and cooks, or most of them at least. And then just some some uh, mixed pepper and uh, fire cure, of course. Just kidding. This is going to go on some eggs. All right, we're going to just cut up this trout a little bit. It's not going to quite fit in the pan. It's a tiny pan. Uh, so we're just going to take off the head. We can probably just bring this back to the river tomorrow, the head. Or feed it to the dogs. I don't know if they like Oh, uh, we got pigs that we can feed those. Oh, there's pigs that you, Seriously? Oh, yeah, okay, cool. Pigs. Take off this tail. Looks good. Should do it. A little bit of oil on them. We'll just season them right here on the cutting board. 
throw in just a bit of pepper. Just a little bit of that Danish sea salt. Oh, jeez. Way too much sea salt. Check out this garlic clove, by the way, guys. It's huge, and I have big hands. I have giant hands. Check out this is one clove of garlic. It's called uh, elephant garlic, I think. Check it out. Unbelievable. We'll save the rest for tomorrow mm -hmm. in case we catch a steelhead. Do you like garlic? Oh, yeah, I like garlic. Good. Okay, I do get my garlic fries at Safeco. You don't mind big chunks, right? No, I don't care. Good. Because I don't feel like chopping it down super fine. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that lemon, that Meyer lemon uh, oil is going to be delicious. Oh, oh, yeah, you think that's fresh, all right? Jeez, look at that. Now we're gonna have to hold these guys down. A lot of the salt and pepper just ended up on the cutting board, so I'm just gonna throw in a little bit more. And heavy hand on that sea salt. Guys, I know in the comments, you've all been saying do more catch and cook. So that's what I'm going to try and do this winter is we're going to go out steelhead fishing. And then hopefully when I finally catch my first steelhead, we're going to do a catch and cook with it. Unless it's a wild fish, then we'll let it go. But, um, but that's, I think what we're going to do is like go for all sorts of like cool stuff in the winter time, maybe with the van, maybe like even some camping with a tent. But, um, I enjoy doing the catch and cooks just as much as you like watching them. Oh, 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 oh man, yeah, garlic. once you add that garlic, it's just, that's when the party starts right there. So I would add a little bit more of that uh, oil. lemon oil. Do you want to try a cracker with some like smoked fish roe? Sure. Like creamed smoked roe. The brand, it's called like Callus or something. There's a little happy kid on there, but he's already rolled up. But it's creamed smoked roe. It's a little much on that one cracker. <laughs> Stuff's kind of salty, but it's it's really good. That's like fish eggs. What do you think? <laughs> it's good. I thought you were gonna spit it up there for a no, second. No, I'm just like. <laughs> oh yeah, I think we're gonna be good. Oh yeah. That's the one nice thing about uh, cooking it on the bones is you'll waste a lot less meat than filleting it. These little uh, rib cages there, I don't know what it is. It's just they're seasoned from both sides. and mm, I like just those little scraps of meat on there. Good stuff. That lemon oil. Oh, the, I forgot that we did the lemon oil. Man. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Get that all right? Get okay, this looks totally delicious. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to get some, just a little bit of garlic that we're going to put on there too. Oh, you can taste that lemon, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's good. That's really good. Yeah, I think it would be fun too to fry them up in um, butter or probably like to season them in, like I'm thinking like maybe season them in that lemon oil, but then fry them in butter. Like I don't yeah. know what it is about butter, but it does definitely enhance the flavor. This is still really tasty. I mean, I wouldn't, uh, yeah, I wouldn't do this any differently, but I did bring some butter. So tomorrow we might add butter Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we have it all. That's the 
that's a well-balanced meal right there. So you've got your, your carbs, you've got your protein, and you've got your, your vegetables for the, the garlic. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as a vegetable. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and finish up the rest of this trout here, and then we're going to fry up the other two inside uh, with Carson's roommates so that they get to enjoy some as well. And uh, we are going to be out fishing all day tomorrow and hopefully catch a steelhead. That'd be really cool. I mean, we're just going to, like, get up crack of dawn and fish all day long. That's all we're going to do. So if you're brand new to the channel, want to see more of this kind of stuff, then make sure to subscribe. Also, remember to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much, and you guys know it. Until next time, fish on. Nice.